What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 8th episode of Uzaki Chang What's Hanging Out. This one's titled, I Want to Watch Fireworks Together. So, I think we all know what this means. Uzaki, Kimono, all set. Um, yeah, I mean, let's be real, that's exactly why we're having this type of episode, right? Because that way we can have her in a kimono and sell a figure of that. And 100%, if Pop-Up Parade gets this show, we're buying it. <laughs> Honestly, if Pop-Up Parade does any show from this season, I'm buying it. I, I can't deny that fact anymore. So, last time we had... What was it? Oh, yes, we went to the Cat Cafe. Uh, we had a tale of two halves, basically, with the episode. Um, we started off with uh, Uzaki receiving a phone call from Sh uh, Shinichi saying, I need to see you right now, and was very intentionally left in a way that could have been tied romantically, but obviously it, it wasn't. Um, he wanted to go into a Cat Cafe, but thought, you know what, I can't go in there alone, so he called on Uzaki to go in there with her. But if you think about it in a certain way, you can perceive that as a date. Asking your friend to come out with you to a cat cafe, that's a date. Like, come on. Like, how is that not foreseen as a date night? Well, not a date night, but a date. Uh, date night came later because um, they discussed the fact that um, uh, Uzaki's birthday is coming up August... Um, was it 6th or 8th? It was either 6th or the 8th. I need to get it correct. Uh, when was her birthday? Uh, let's see. It was... Doesn't say... <laughs> How does it not say on her own wiki? Like, what? Like, what? When was her birthday? August 7th. Wow, I was... <laughs> it's right in between. It. God damn it. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, it wasn't 6th or 8th, it was 7th. Close enough. Um, so, yeah. Uh, wanted to do something for her birthday. Uh, he was wondering what to get her. Um, and whilst he was looking for a present, uh, Hannah calls him to say, I need to see you, in very much a mirror of last time, and uh, it's to go drinking at a pub, uh, in which she gets absolutely wasted, like, absolutely wasted. Uh, it doesn't stop her usual teasing, uh, as per usual, but she had a very, very heavy night of drinking, and the following morning very much reflected that she was hung over to shit. Like, God, that is, that's the type of night that you have that turns you off of drinking forever. Like, that's the type of night it was. Um, you need to know your limits. You need to keep yourself hydrated as well. Like, these are all important things you have to do to avoid such hangover nights as that. Um, but it's fine. Uh, she's learned her lesson, maybe. Um, she, she at least knows how to drink responsibly and uh, has a good night out of it. But they get closer together as people, which is very nice. Um, rest in peace to that uh, futon. Uh, that, uh, yeah, took one for the team in that night. Uh, anyway, going to watch fireworks together. So it means uh, it's festival time, uh, end of summer festival. We get to see, we have a fireworks scene, of course, probably. I mean, it would make sense to have a fireworks scene since we're going to watch fireworks. We get to see her in, uh, 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 did I say kimono? I don't think I meant to say kimono, did I? I think, uh, uh, yukata is what I was actually going for, right? What's the difference between a yukata and a kimono? Like, there is a specific difference, right? Yeah, I think it was, uh, yukata was what I was going for. Ignore me for saying kimono. I don't know why I went that way. Yukata is what I meant to say. Now that's corrected. I'm sure I've already, someone's already put it in the comments. It's Yukata, not Kimono. But hey, I corrected myself. I corrected myself. So, let's get into today's episode, shall we? Episode 8. Uh, as per usual, watching this one on Funimation, since it's where it's officially licensed here in the UK and US. Uh, link to that will be in the description. If you don't have subscription service, wait a week and the episodes become free. You can use a VPN if you don't have it in, this, in your region. Uh, these are time-based reactions. So bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the timer for the episode. I count you down three, two, one, play. And now on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. We have Katakawa logo and Funimation logo to go through. I'll call them out, and then we start the episode. This mic arm is shaking a lot more. I should probably fix it soon. Oh, well. Um, with all that said, I think we're ready to go. So in three, two, one, play. Katakawa logo, as expected. And Funimation. Here we go. People are looking. What's going on between these two? Hmm? 
Ah, uh, yes, because of... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds bad. That sounds so bad. Yep. Oh, boy. Mind your own business, people. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so bad. This looks so bad. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. oh. Misaki, please. Oh, what a great way to start this episode. Ah. <laughs> uh. Incredible. It's so bad. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yep. And straight into OP. <laughs> that was a way to start it. God, that was a great opening. Great way to wrap up uh, what happened last time and just make it sound so bad. Just so bad. You know what time it is, people. Like I say, we're keeping this up the whole season. Alright. Here we go. I want to watch fireworks together. And it's gonna, yep. <laughs> Amazing. Mm hmm. Start prying. <laughs> and it just pack up. Uh, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, phrasing. Here we go. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, phrasing. I mean, this is all true, but still. Still one of the best vomit effects I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> I love how they're back behind the counter as well. <laughs> I, I love those two. Where the hell are you? Yep. Yep. 
<laughs> what? Okay. Uh huh. Yep. I can see how she perceive it that way. I mean, she. I think she'd be caring about. Right, she even she has the her limits. It's been very close. <laughs> it was very borderline. Yeah. Yes, that's very much so. But now it's... Yeah. <laughs> I love these two. Uh huh, and that's where the festival comes into it. Freebies are all stools. Jesus, that's pretty good. Uh huh. To cheer her up. Yeah, patch rings up. <laughs> We're going direct. Okay. Nauseating <laughs> stuff. Wow. <laughs> wow. No way he's going to be able to do that. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Good work, you two. Good work. Here we go. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. I mean, it looks good on her. It really does. <laughs> Still a little awkward. Mm, still a little down. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Thank you, show. I see what you're doing. Aww. <laughs> but yes, hopeless. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, show. Okay. She's looking a little happier now. Hmm. Hmm. What was that all about? What was that all about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
It's actually kind of adorable. But she's still a little down. You do. Did you compliment her on her Yukito yet? I mean... Compliments always help. Well, not always. Let's be real. He's just commenting everything. There we go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's kind of back. <laughs> uh... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Is it? That's debatable. Yep. 100%. Oh, wow. You've broken her. <laughs> Everyone's just staring. Yep. <laughs> that too. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Dude's out. Holy shit. <laughs> Knock the shit out of him. Uh, oh, we went back, back to high school? We doing flashback now? Uh, we are? Okay. So when they first met. I didn't think we get a chance to see this, but cool. Their hairs look so different. It's interesting. Not that easy. Wow, her personality is so different. So much more reserved. He's going to return with... Putting way too much into him and just flailing around. Did he just jump in? He did, okay. God, even in high school he's ripped. Mm-hmm. Damn. 
Yeah, two's right. Mm hmm. Slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> this damn cat. This damn cat. I hate it. <laughs> I hate this cat. Ah. This fucking cat. Or kitten, I should say now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is so nice. It's so different. I love it. And the fireworks. At this point, we're going to cut back. When are we going to cut back? We're not? Oh, right, because he was completely knocked unconscious, I forgot. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Because she knocked you the fuck out. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. This damn cat. I hate it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Probably. Mm hmm. <laughs> Not quite how she expects it to start, but mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm, that's very true.
This shot, I love this shot. <laughs> it's kind of a dumb shot, but I love it. <laughs> God, I love these two. And she's back. <laughs> yep. And the fireworks start again. <laughs> I love these two. And there's a... <laughs> He's still trying to jump off during the storm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, a lot of us would be. Oh. Well, this was just a genuinely nice episode. Hilarious as well, but a genuinely nice episode. Wow, okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's going to be it, isn't it? Wow. I just got a smile on my face after that episode. That's all I've got. Seeing a bit more of their time before college as well. Seeing how Huzaki was different when she was younger as well. Very interesting. Now, the, the beginning scene was just brilliant comedy. Like, taking something... But I really love it when you try and misinterpret things purposefully. Like, you know exactly what you're trying to achieve out of misinterpreting it, but it makes sense no matter which way you cut it. That was pretty clever. But for all that, like... Like I said, this show has... Since the first few episodes was building up the premise of their characters, it was a lot more comedy-focused than actual... Uh, relationship focused. What's next week's episode title? A frill? Okay, she wants a frill. Are they going to go to a theme park? What other frill could you really could be talking about as college students? Hmm, I'm going to guess theme park. Theme park would be a good one to uh, explore with these two. I'm sure that's something he probably hasn't done. So my money's on theme park for next time. We'll see if uh, that's even close, but I think a theme park episode could be interesting. You don't see theme parks too often in uh, anime, I don't think. Like compared to like the the typical festival scenes, beach scenes, it's like I feel like theme parks rank a lot lower on that as typical anime destinations. I don't know why. Hmm, interesting. Um, but yeah, where was I going with it before I uh, finished the episode? Yeah, so my point was that first few episodes, very comedy focused, building up these characters, <clears throat> the premise of her uh, teasing him, him being a loner, blah, blah, blah. A lot of good comedy moments out of the first couple of episodes. But ever since around, mm, I want to say episode four or five, roughly, we started toning down some of the comedy, comedy elements, still having very funny moments. But toning it down slightly in favour of actually having some meaningful character development uh, come up. Uh, some actual relationship... <clears throat> some actual relationship things being built as well. And this episode especially, you can just feel the characters getting closer and closer together. Getting more familiar with each other. Getting on better terms with each other. Having that more of a bond. And I think at this point... I wonder... 
I wonder if it's going to be next episode where they start entertaining the idea of Shinichi actually being romantically interested in her. Like, right now, he just sees her as his best friend, I think, at this point. Well, maybe not best friend. Does he rank her above what's-his-face? Um, is it Sakata? Sakaki, that was it. I was close. Very close. But I wonder if... Um... I wonder who he considers his best friend now, her or Sakaki. I mean, he's known Sakaki longer, I think. Possibly. At least on a friendly basis. He's known Izaki for a long time as well, but not in that same manner, I suppose. But yeah. I, at the moment, I don't think... I don't think he sees Uzaki as someone he would like to be in a relationship with. I don't think his brain has made that switch just yet. I don't think so, anyway. He he might be on the verge of doing that now, I don't know. But I think next couple of episodes he might start doing it. Um, I do wonder if this show, and for that uh, fact the manga as well, I wonder if they will cross that territory, because I think there's definitely... I think there's definitely some more interesting things you can play with if you do it that way. Like, this type of show, because they are college students, there is so much more you can do. You can do the drinking thing. You can do a lot more uh, different types of comedies that you could with uh, typical high schoolers. Like, normally when you have these sorts of romantic comedies, it's usually set in a school setting because that's your target demographic. You want it to be relatable. But by doing it in a college setting, you have so many more options available to you as to what you use for your jokes and your character development, such as drinking. Um... And to that extent, uh, when you have a romantic or rom-com based show, there's much more you can do with characters that are learning to like each other and want to be in a relationship, and then becoming a couple, and then exploring what you can make out of that as well. And that's why I really liked, uh, I've said it multiple times, probably even on reactions to this uh, show, but I'll say it for most romance shows as well, is like, that's why I love Aura Monogatari so much, is because it didn't waste much time in the, hmm, do I like you, do I not like you? They got into a relationship and actually explored that being in a relationship part, which is, I think, somewhat unique. Normally, romance shows are all about getting the characters together and then finishing, as opposed to getting, as opposed to being in a relationship and then exploring where that relationship takes you. I think there's a, a show this season, or uh, next season, I should say, Fall 2020, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be a romance show, actually. Let me see if I can find it. Um, hmm. Yes, uh, this is it. Uh, Tonikawa Over the Moon for You. This is a rom-com, Slice of Life, but it's actually exploring characters that I believe, at least from what I know of the synopsis, are already together. Like, they're starting with marriage. Like, yeah, there's backstory, but they're going to start with married characters. Yeah, loosely married characters. It's more like a formality of marriage rather than going through the entire process. So that's the type of romance show that I'm very interested in because it's going to be exploring characters, not in the build-up to their relationship, but already in the relationship, exploring where that takes them. Um, but still, it's, um, it's something I very much like to explore. And I wonder if Uzaki-chan is going to go that route. I get the feeling it's not going to, uh, based on just what I know of Japanese shows. I, even if it does, I don't think the anime adaptation will go that much further because usually these types of shows only get one season of anime to promote the manga and then that's usually it. You don't often get full adaptations of this type of show. I really do hope for a second season of this because I'm thoroughly enjoying it, but I'm expecting it not to. I'm expecting the final episode of this is either going to end with them accepting they have feelings for each other, but being non-committal about whether they want to go out or not, 
or it will end with like a a kiss or a confession and then that will be the end of the show and we don't see much more of it that's how i imagine this is going to end i hope that they do continue to explore like what would happen if these two characters are actually committed in a relationship together but like i said i just don't think it's typical of this genre to do that so we'll see but very entertaining episode very funny episode as well this is one of the funniest in the past couple of weeks i think uh thanks to especially that beginning part and then uh cafe owners um Ami and uh, the Master, uh, the Asais. I I love them. I really do love them. I like what the character dynamic they bring to this story. And just from looking in. This damn cat as well. I don't know why it exists, but my god, it is creepy. And I I don't know what the point of it is. Like, why? (laughs) Why? Uh, Yeah. If anyone can explain why Kuso Cat Uni exists, please let me know. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as per usual. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. It helps grow the channel out. Uh, leave a comment on what you thought of the episode as well. If you want to have more in-depth discussion about this episode or any of the shows I watch on this channel, I do have a Discord in the description. I'll be trying to promote that more in future. Don't worry. Uh, for those of you who are already on that, it's like we got a good 20-odd people on there, which is nice for a channel this size. I think that's more than I expected. But even still... I uh, I want to grow that out someday, so we'll see. Don't forget to hit subscribe to see next week's episode of Uzaki Chan, as well as the rest of the Summer 2020 light you can find on my channel. Thank you for watching, until next time, see you guys later.